the Great Texas Air Show. This year, we're bringing you Morning Flight Plan, an exclusive morning show each day of the air show to get you ready and informed for the day's events. I'm your host, Master Sergeant Caitlin Jones-Martin, live here at JBSA Randolph as we get ready to open up the gates to the public in about 30 minutes. Over the next half hour, we're going to bring you the latest on what you can expect today at the air show, the traffic, the weather, basically a one-stop shop for all things Great Texas Air Show, streaming live on our Joint Base San Antonio Facebook page. And speaking of Joint Base San Antonio, my special guests this morning are the commander of JBSA and the 502nd Air Base Wing, Brigadier General Caroline Miller, and Command Chief JBSA and 502nd Air Base Wing, Chief Master Sergeant Casey Boomershine. Ma'am, Chief, thank you guys so much for being with us today. I know you're running around like crazy. <laughs> it's air show, right? It is. Yeah, we're so pleased to have you here. We know that a lot of people here in San Antonio, they've grown up with JBSA. Um, this is Military City USA, but can you kind of tell us a little bit about what the mission is of Joint Base San Antonio? Yeah, so J Joint Base San Antonio is the largest joint base in the Department of Defense, and we have 266 mission partners here. And so I will tell you some of the main missions um, people will know is up at Lackland, we do all the basic military training for the Air Force. At Fort Sam, the big mission there is all of the, um, all of the medical training for the Department of Defense. Here at Randolph, we do all of the uh, uh, pilot training program for the Air Force. And then there's just, you've got Army South, Army North, you've got Air Education Training Command, Air Force Personnel Center. Um, and the 502nd, we are responsible, you know, my wing is responsible for support for all of those missions. So essentially, in the 502nd, we have all of the support, the security forces, um, communications, uh, we've got uh, civil engineer, morale, welfare, and um, everything. So we, we really take care of all those mission partners. Absolutely. The 502nd Air Base Wing, as we like to say, is a beast. It's a beast. And it takes a beast to pull off an air show yeah. of this magnitude. Why should people in the community come out and see the air show here at Randolph? That is a great question because we are live streaming a lot of it and you could do that. But I will tell you the value of coming out here is on the south ramp over there, we have a full ramp of static displays that people can actually come and walk through, they can walk through a C-5, they can go see an F-35 up close, an F-22, we've got the A-10 Warthog, we've got Osprey, I mean, we have more aircraft here, and if you come, you can actually come and see them, take pictures, talk to the crew, find out about the mission, um, and then, you know, that's just walking through, but then you actually have a live view of all of our, we have four and a half hours of air acts today to include Tora, 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 we've got the F-35 demo, and we culminate, of course, with the Thunderbirds. So it's a great opportunity. We also have a phenomenal STEM, um, STEM tent that uh, children can come in and get hands-on on some experiments. They can do some uh, virtual reality on, on flying some simulators. So this is a great opportunity, please. Our gates are open in about a half hour, and it'll be open today and tomorrow. And I would say, you can't, uh Take the place of feeling, feeling it when those engines take yes. off and watching the roar in the sky. It's just amazing. And to be able to be out here and experience this and talk to even some of our veterans that come out and really get a chance to explore the flight line to come back home. So you have to come and do it yourself. And that STEM tent's amazing. I got to drive a robot. I'm just saying it's pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah, you were talking about STEM tent for the kids and VR for the kids. I'm like, I want to go fly. I know, actually, I did a couple. I'm not going to lie. I did a couple of them yesterday. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Absolutely. When we see these aircraft, when we hear the aircraft in the sky, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, why, why do we do this? You know, we open up our gates. It's a huge manpower lift. But why is it so important for us to host an air show, ma'am? So I'll tell you, first of all, this is the first air show we've done here at Randolph in the last seven years. But it's, it's so important for our community to come. It's kind of an appreciation to the community. So we are, as you said, we are Military City USA. But this is our way to give back and say this is why it's so important. Because you can actually see some of the air power and you can see some of the, the newest uh, you know, the F-35, how capable it is, and it's just remarkable. Um, and it's also an opportunity uh, to build those partnerships. Here I will tell you that there, I've never seen a better partnership between the military and the city and the county and all of that. And this is our way to open the gates to everybody and just say thank you. 
Absolutely, ma'am. And speaking of thank you, you know, I know you're getting ready for your change yes. of command. We are going to miss you dearly at the oh, 502nd. As you look back kind of on your time here at the 502nd and JBSA, what will you kind of take away from this experience? I'll tell you, this has been probably the best assignment I've had, and that's just because, A, the community, again, the, the support that we give, you, there is nothing that we... Um, you know, if we just mention something, people are there to support. But the other thing, too, is really bringing this wing together. So, so the wing is about 8,000 people, and, it, you know, they're so the geographic separation. And we, over the last two years, we have really made a cohesive team. And, that, you know, we talk about the beast. You know, we are, it's, it's big, but we have a motto. We have, you know, we actually have a mission that everyone is really working towards now. And I don't, I, I think that we've made huge strides there. So I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss the people, and I'm going to miss and I'm going to miss San Antonio. Absolutely, yeah. I think we're all going to miss General Miller. So <laughs> she's made a big impact on our wing and on our team and making us all feel like we're part of something bigger than ourselves. So. Definitely, definitely, ma'am. The 502nd Air Base Wing is truly a beast. We are so thankful that you guys had the chance to stop by oh, yeah. and chat with yeah. us a little bit. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you get to enjoy the air show a little <laughs> bit yourself. I think no matter how many times you see it, it's still, everybody looks at jets no matter how many Absolutely. times they fly over. So thank you guys so much for being here. I Absolutely. hope you guys have a great day. Let's take a look at a little bit more about what the 502nd is responsible for at the DOD's largest joint base. Welcome to San Antonio, also known as Military City USA, home to the largest joint base in the Department of Defense. At Joint Base San Antonio, we host 10 major commands, more than 40 general officers and senior executives, and maintain more historic buildings than Williamsburg, Virginia. In total, JBSA supports 266 diverse mission partners. 80,000 personnel, and over 565,000 families and retirees in the surrounding area. JBSA is home to more DOD students and more active runways than any other military installation. We are also home to the DOD's largest inpatient hospital and only level one trauma center. With the Air Force as the lead agency for JBSA, the installation is made up of three primary locations, JBSA Fort San Houston, Lackland, and Randolph, and eight other operating locations. Major mission partners at JBSA Fort San Houston include U.S. Army North, conducting homeland defense and civil support operations and theater security cooperation activities. U.S. Army South, whose area of responsibility includes 31 countries and 15 areas of special sovereignty in Central and South America and the Caribbean. Installation Management Command, who synchronized, integrate, and deliver installation services. Army Medical Center of Excellence, where the U.S. Army educates and trains all of its medical personnel. The Medical Education Training Campus, where training occurs for about 24,000 enlisted personnel annually from all the military services. Brook Army Medical Center, where there are about 75,000 emergency room visits each year. And geographically separated, Camp Bolas provides state-of-the-art training facilities that fully support the training requirement of DOD mission partners. Major mission partners at JBSA Lackland include the 37th Training Wing, graduating 80,000 from Air Force Basic, technical, security, and international training. Within the 37th is the Defense Language Institute and the Inter-American Air Forces Academy. The 59th Medical Wing, providing premier healthcare, medical education, and research and readiness. 16th Air Force, leading information warfare for the Air Force by integrating multi-source intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Cyber warfare, electronic warfare, and information operations capabilities. Air Force Installation and Mission Support Center, responsible for providing installation and mission support capabilities to 77 installations, nine major commands, and two direct reporting units in order to build and maintain the foundation of the Air Force. 433rd Airlift Wing, 
home of the formal training unit for all C-5 Galaxy air crews, and 149th Fighter Wing, an F-16 flying training unit, and premier fighter wing in the Air National Guard. Major mission partners at JBSA Randolph include Headquarters Air Education and Training Command, the Air Force's major command charged with recruiting, training, and educating America's airmen, 19th Air Force. Responsible for training more than 30,000 U.S. and Allied students annually in numerous specialties ranging from air crews, remotely piloted aircraft crews, air battle managers, weapons directors, and survival escape, resistance, and evasion specialists. 12th Flying Training Wing. Training 850 instructed pilots and 500 remotely piloted aircraft pilots and sensor operators annually. Air Force Personnel Center. Providing services and community programs to airmen worldwide. And Headquarters Air Force Recruiting Service. Inspiring, engaging, and recruiting the brightest, most competitive, and diverse men and women for the Air Force. Overseeing installation support across all JBSA locations. The commander of JBSA is dual-hatted as the 502nd Air Base Wing Commander. The wing conducts 49 installation support functions to include security forces, civil engineering, services, communications, legal, logistics, and safety. There is no place like JBSA, and this is ever present in the strong partnerships we have with Military City USA and the surrounding region. JBSA is one of the largest employers in the state of Texas, contributing $13 billion to the local economy and over $30 billion to the state. We're supported by over 1,000 civic leaders, four congressional districts, four counties, and 20 smaller communities. Simply put, the soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, guardians and coast guardsmen, and government civilians across JBSA are making a difference here and to the nation. The success of our military mission is absolutely intertwined with the success and resilience of the city of San Antonio and the surrounding communities. Joint Base San Antonio, partnership in excellence. As you're getting ready to head out the door this morning and come over to JBSA Randolph, there's a few things to keep in mind. One is the weather. As of now, today is projected to be 86 degrees under cloudy skies with 90% humidity and no projected rain. Please make sure that you stay hydrated. Also make sure that you're not bringing in any prohibited items with you when you come on to our installation. These include trailers, weapons, non-clear backpacks, although small diaper bags for children are okay, remote control devices to include drones, ice chests and coolers, pets, glass containers, bicycles, roller skates, skateboards, and segways. We also prohibit fireworks, flammable liquids, laser pointers, umbrellas, tents and cabanas, and any outside food or beverage. There is absolutely no smoking or e-cigarette use allowed on the flight line or ramp area. Keep in mind that the Great Texas Air Show is free and parking is free as well. Please pay attention to the volunteers who are out here directing traffic once you come in. There are three public entrances located at JBSA Randolph, one off of Loop 1604 and Lower Seguin Road, one off of FM 1518 and one from FM 78. You can find directions and this map on our website as well at greattexasairshow.com. We have shuttles ready to transport everyone from the parking areas to the air show ramp. Keep in mind that masks are required to use the parking shuttles to and from the public parking areas on JBSA. You can expect a full day of activities on this beautiful Saturday. We've got shows, displays, and more here at the Great Texas Air Show. Aerial acts start at 11 a.m. with an exciting surprise, so you definitely do not want to miss that. The acts are going to continue all day long before the grand finale. The U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds take to the skies at around 3 p.m. You can expect demonstrations from the F-35A Lightning II demo team, 
Tora 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 is here, Wings of Blue, Aerial Aerobatics, and so many more. We also have over 60 static displays, everything from historic legacy aircraft like the B-20, B-51 and B-25 to the most modern warfighting aircraft like the F-22. We also have displays from the U.S. Army, the Texas National Guard, and a special area like General M Miller mentioned dedicated just to science, technology, engineering, and math. In our STEM area, you can find over 15 interactive displays for all ages. We've got industry, colleges, Air Force gaming is here, virtual reality simulators, and so much more. For a full list and map of the area, please visit greattexasairshow.com. If you can't make it out for the show live and in person, we will be live streaming some of the aerial events courtesy of the 3rd Audiovisual Squadron. You can follow the Great Texas Air Show on our social media page by visiting Joint Base San Antonio on Facebook and following the Great Texas Air Show event. We're going to be broadcasting live starting just before noon for the flyover by local airmen from the 12th Flying Training Wing. We're also going to be bringing you the U.S. Marine Corps Ospreys right after the 12th. And then at 3 p.m., the headliners of this year's air show will take to the skies above San Antonio and will bring you the premier demonstration team of the United States Air Force, the Thunderbirds. Of course, the best way to see the show is to actually be here in person. You'll get to see all 22 aerial acts, plus take in the sights of over 60 static displays of American air power. Plus, it's all free and open to the public. Please join us. Gates are going to open in about 14 minutes. You can go to greattexasairshow.com for all information on entry and a full list of performers. We'll see you back here live just before noon for a flyover from our local airmen stationed right here at Randolph, the 12th Flying Training Wing. Until then, I'm Master Sergeant Caitlin Jones-Martin at the Great Texas Air Show. See you on the flight line.